everybody, and good morning to you. Happy gardening. My name is Guy. This show is called Gardening and Got with Guy. We got a great uh, show for you today. We're going to give you all kinds of great things to be able to decorate your property, make it look nice. You know, I always tell you, gardening should not be stressful. Gardening should be fun, right? You should get out there and relax, have a good time. As you know, uh, the little wandering mailbox is always here. When the little thing's up, that means people want to say hi to us. So let's check it out and see who's... Oh, hey, Guy, a... you've got mail. Son of a... Put a... Butt. They put a... They put a bug in it. See what they did to me? Aren't they all funny? All right, let's check our mail. Yeah, it's real funny, Jacqueline. Anyway, I just put my head in there. And I had weird dreams about bees last night attacking me. And now there's cockroaches in my mailbox. All right, I want to say hi to our friends on Facebook who joined us last week. We had Susie, Mohammed, Bonnie, Brenda, Donna, Lisa, Azudi, uh, and Marissa. Marissa says, I love your show, Guy. I wish it was longer. Well, uh, your wish is my command, as they say. Uh, this show is actually two hours today. We had so much great stuff, we couldn't pack it all into one hour. So we actually have a two hour show today. Put that down so the mailman comes back. Oh, got to go feed the birds and put my coffee down. Come on over with me. Let's go feed the birds. Watch this move. See, I never put my back to the camera and I didn't fall over. Hey, look, there's a different bird. We actually have this bird feeder available today and this is a combination fountain and bird feeder. <laughs> birds are crazy today. You just load it up with a little seed. There you go. And then at the same time, look, it's got the little trickling water. So it's very, very relaxing. Uh, anyway, all right, let's head back over and start our show. As always, uh, you know, we are, uh, are we live on Facebook today? All right, we're streaming live on Facebook. So uh, make sure you give me your questions and your comments. If you have anything for the show or any ideas for the show, we'd love to hear that as well. Um, I don't know about you, but one of the biggest hassles I have is when I go on vacation and I don't know how to water my plants, right? You try to get your neighbor to do it for you, or maybe you have uh, one of your kids, good luck with that. Uh, try to water your plants. Well, these are called watering globes, and it's a two pack of these watering globes. And all you simply do is you take it and you fill it with water, here it is right here, and then you just stick it down into the plant and it actually senses when your plant needs water. Now this is gonna last for about two weeks. So if you're taking a, if you're going to Europe, uh, just fill this little guy up before you leave. Or if you're just forgetful like me and you're worried about whether your plants are gonna be dried out, we're gonna give you two of these. It's only $19.95 today. And if you look over there under the $19.95, what does that say? Five flex, oh my gosh. Five flex on everything in our show. I think it's actually five flex for everything the whole day. Uh, let me get Miss Rebecca Wood out here. Hi. She's a, she's a you're, you're a gardener. I am, I love gardening. You know I what? It, and I love it when I'm gone that I know my plants are gonna be taken care you of. You know what's so funny is that I, I never, you know, when you're a kid, you're like, meh, gardening, whatever. But you know, my dad, when we were kids, he had us help with his garden. Now I, I get it because when you have your own garden, yes. then it's fun. Then it's not it's fun, fun doing somebody else's no, garden. No, no, exactly. And yeah. it's something that comes with age, I think that you just really yeah. enjoy well, growing something. Probably because we need to de-stress. And we that's what do, gardening does, right? We do, and you right? create something so beautiful. Yeah. But I love it, we still wanna take vacations we still want to go and and lead busy lives sure. and this is a great way to still take care of your plants you could even put your plant food in there if you wanted to just make sure it's diluted properly but here's the thing we always hear about these globes that have the drip system this is not a drip system this is watering your plants on demand it's actually a wick system so what happens is it actually, this wick, when it is dry, constricts, and it allows air into the globe, and then the correct amount of water comes out, and as soon as that wick is wet again, then it's going to stop feeding your so plants. So it just senses when the, when the, in the roots and the, and the soil gets dry, it senses that, and it actually sucks the water down from the globe. Exactly. You're gonna, we'll show you exactly how it works, but I gotta tell you, this is, this is brilliant. It really, really Anybody is. that's traveling, right? You're going away for the weekend, or maybe you just planted things, it's just, you're going away for a week, what do you do? Yeah, exactly. Even, I mean, when you just plant them, even a few days really can make a difference. You see that pen mark? What you're going to do when you, once you fill it, you're gonna put that wick in water for about five seconds, okay? Because you want it to be good and moist when you're putting it into the soil. You're gonna use that pen to make a hole in to the soil, okay. you place it, and for two weeks you're good to go. This is two so weeks. smart. And it's reusable. So just keep filling it up. So over and over and over and over again. And you can see how it just kind of looks seamless into the plants once you put them in there. It's gonna do all of the work for you. I also love that you can put the, that is a loud bird. You could also put that, um, food right in there. So your plant's getting absolutely everything it needs for two weeks without you even thinking twice about it. Uh, right. And that drip system just doesn't work too. I, I, it can I over... Well, I forget about that stuff all the time. And, and you know, the most important thing is that you make sure that that dirt 
stays nice and hydrated. Right, right. All right. And look at, we even have hydrated. Look, is that your, oh, that's your. No, I think See, it's, I what did it say? last year too. I, a little dirt last never week. hurt. That's like, I have all these sayings. So he when does. I say them, it's like the magic he little does. cloud appears. Two for $19.95. I mean, you must have at least two plants that maybe you've neglected before. Or maybe you've had an issue where you went away and you came back and your plant was all dried up and withered. This is going to take care of that. All you do is just put ordinary tap water you in. You do. I guess if you wanted to put some fertilizer in there, whatever, you probably could. If no, you really... I, that's why I say put your yeah. spray and grow spray in there. Spray and grow? Put your spray and grow. Just make sure it's diluted. It holds 13 ounces of water so you can know how much it is. Then you put this cone right in there. If you look in there, that's where it's going to allow the water out. Once you put that together, Together, this is the wick that's going to tell and read when your plant needs that water. Your plant tells it. Your well, plant says, hey, I need some water. As soon as that wick is not is wet, right. it's going to stop f watering it. And it's really the one way you can kind of muck it up with your garden is not watering it properly I mean, right, and not exactly. watering it on a timely basis. And a lot of us have a tendency to overwater, um, which is a problem. I, I had that happen to me last year on my, on my yard. And I was wondering why my yard was dying. And the guy's like, I'm like, maybe it's not getting in the floor. He goes, no, dude, it's getting too much water too because much water. it's getting shade during yeah. the part of the day. And so the water just saturates and that will kill your plants. So this senses when the roots are dry and it allows just the amount of water to keep it damp inside there. Remember, you don't want to soak a plant. You just want to, no. you know, you do that initially when you're planting trees and things like that. That's just to get the ground prep. But then afterwards, you're not dumping 30 gallons of water on top. This gives you just enough. So you're good to go. You're going to get two of these. Yep. They're decorative too, so they, they're not Beautiful. this hideous, ugly thing. They just, look how they kind of just- they Indoor, just kinda, outdoor, yeah, they exactly. Just, they go right in and then you don't even really, and look, you can see it's drinking. Yep, because that plant needs it right now. It's so actually bubbling. Because the water's see, going through it, exactly. Yeah, turn it. There we go. And it's going to stop feeding the plant as soon as that wick expands because it's right. wet. So it's only giving that plant the water it needs. It's perfect, it's a perfect idea. So if you're gonna be traveling anytime soon, uh, or if you just want one, give one away, give one to your neighbor. It's really nice. It's great for really for indoor plants too. Yes, both. Uh, because you know, like we said, when you leave, those are the ones that always get neglected. So if you'd like it, $19.95. The flex pay on this is only $3.99, <laughs> everybody. So, and that's for everything in our show, everything throughout the day, five flex. Hey, coming up, we were just talking about spray and grow. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, the most amazing product for your plants. And this you actually spray right on top of your plants, right on the leaves. You could spray it right on the fruit if you've got um, tomatoes or whatever it is, or basil, you can put it on her herbs, it's perfect. You spray it on and it's actually absorbed through the leaves. And I will tell you, in two weeks, you are gonna see an incredible difference in your plants. These are the same plant with and without spray and grow. By the way, I have the half gallon today and you can only get that one here at HSN. Stock up on this. I also have power sprayers. Get one of those because pumping the thing with your hand is a pain in the neck. I'd rather just use the little power sprayer. I've got the 16 ounce for a $20 bill. And then if you want the gallon and you know, it's basically buy more and save on this thing because you're gonna wanna use this. You know that this was developed by professional farmers. It was actually Bill Musgrove, who was a friend of our show who used to be out here. His, his daughter Melanie comes out now and he, he created it for farmers. Um, so that their crops would grow better because it's all about yield when you're a farmer. So spray and grow coming up in just a bit. All right, let's start getting to some display stuff. So, you know, in our show, we try to balance the show with like, we have some plants coming up in a bit. We have ways to display your plants. We have uh, decorative artwork for your garden. It's a whole gardening sort of, you know, uh, mindset here. This I've never ever seen before. And what this is called is this is called your flower tower, your flower tower of power unique vertical garden. Now, a lot of us don't have a ton of space around our property right. to be able to put in big giant uh, you know, plants or even big giant pots, right? Well, this takes advantage of the vertical space that you have, maybe on either side of your front door, maybe it's an area of your patio, maybe it's on a, on a sun porch. It's only $29.95 and you're gonna get two of these. We've actually decorated them out. The flowers obviously are sold separately and you mm -hmm. can pick up flowers today. I've got impatience and all kinds of things that'll do well That's in here. perfect in here, yeah, yeah, exactly. But you simply just load it up with, yes. with, with your soil and your water and you pop in your plants. You can even do tomatoes we got a you tomato can. plant you can have here. an herb garden in there if yeah. you wanted to and i love that no matter how much space you have you can create beautiful flowers you can surround yourself in greenery surround yourself in color surround yourself in produce if you really want to and it couldn't be more simple again you're going to get two i love that and you just kind of put it together as in a buckling system this kind of shows you right here is. isn't it gorgeous oh my god and then you just simply 
will go up. You get 30 different um, openings. You can see the different openings yeah. right here. So you would fill it with um, soil to this point. Put in your flowers. It's perfect for about an inch to an inch and a half mm -hmm. seedlings. And then you're gonna put them in. Then you fill it up with a little bit more with soil, a little bit more. Here's where it's amazing. Look at the watering system here. Simple to put together, it's color coded, but the bigger water holes are on the bottom. Why? Gravity works, right? Mm -hmm. Or on the top, I should say. Gravity works, so that water will go down. So what happens is, instead of getting like a cone effect or maybe a triangle of flowers, you're gonna get a gorgeous tower of flower because you're getting uh, more cohesive growing because it's more evenly watered. So you just put it right on top. You can see right here is where you'd put the water. Right through the top? Yeah, right on top. Yep, and you, let me suggest that you put at least four or five different flowers on top as well. Uh, it's just, it's brilliant, and you can oh, create yeah. something that's just stunning. And what happens is as your flowers start to grow and they start to multiply, you don't even see the little cone inside. It just becomes this beautiful vertical yes. three-foot tower of gorgeous flowers. So here's yes. how you put it together. Exactly. It's like a buckle system. Yeah. So you just kind of buckle it all the way up. There's the watering system I was telling you. So the larger holes are on top. So you're going to get a more cohesive watering system, creating a beautiful tower of flowers. Here's what's a huge thing right now. Is it's a big thing. You know how they had painting parties forever? Yeah. And then they had, and then you could see that you put the flowers on the way up, filling it as you're going up. Well, we had painting parties, then you go and you're making all of these wood signs. Have a planting party. Have your girlfriends over, order a few of these, you buy a flat of flowers, everybody creates their own tower, fun, right? and then you go social media all season long and see how well they're doing. And your friends are all gonna be really jealous and very uh, envious of that as well. And you can see how it sort of grows and yes. it fills in as it goes. So, you know, this is a, this is a blooming good idea. It's brilliant. Ah, he there used it that is. last week too. Blooming good idea. <laughs> He's full of these guys no, this, all no, hour this long. This is actually where, where it really works. It did. Because it is a blooming good idea. Um, remember, we've added whatever flowers we want. I've got leaf and petal coming up in just a bit with our buddy Mark Govans here. He's gonna, he's gonna show you some great plants in just a bit that you can pop in here. Um, but realistically, it's so much fun and it's so easy. I also like the fact that the design uh, itself allows you to move the flowers. A lot of it times, does. Yes, you know, yes. and it's not super duper heavy. So if you need to move it from point A to point B, maybe you're moving it into an area where there's more sun or maybe a lot of people are having a get together or a party and they want to display them somewhere. You could have them in the entryway. Um, you could have these out on a deck or a patio. They even have I would the, imagine uh, these are handling. Great. Yeah, for like an apartment. Too. Oh, look at the yes, little thing. Yes, they even have so a little carry. handling so you can carry them very easily. These are uh, ideal for people who live in, in small places too or small spaces. So if you have an apartment, uh, maybe, um, you know, you do live in the city and you don't have, you know, there's no place to have a real garden. You've got your own little vertical garden. And they're reusable. So yeah. remember when you're getting them, oh, enjoy them. Isn't that beautiful back there? Impatience, yeah. begonias, perfect for this. Um, they're going to uh, get the exact water that they need from the top to the bottom. So that's what's creating an entire tower. So think of a walkway. You could create a, a beautiful garden walkway. You can flank um, a doorway, you can sure. plank a porch, yeah. a walkway. It's a really beautiful way to get that vertical gardening going up instead of out. It's just so different, and that's and that's what's so unique about it is that you don't normally see this. I'll come down to this one, and you'll see, and I'll give it a little spin so you can I see. I put so many you different can, flowers in there. You can spin it yes. and display it, whatever looks best. And we just pop these in just to show you and put a little soil inside, and you can put some greenery in. Um, and, you know, maybe from time to time, like I said, you know, you can easily turn it if, if you have flowers in there that need light. Lots of sun. Um, you can yes. give it a little move or a little twist when you need to. It's firmly uh, planted on the bottom. It has a wider base, so it's not going to be tippy or anything like that. Um, if you buy it today, it's $5.99 on your credit card. Uh, FlexPay is a way that we just break up the payment. So even though it says $29.95, you can split it up into five payments. Uh, your shipping and handling and tax will be added to your first payment. So that'll be a little bit more. And then it'll just be $5.99, but you get to pay it off over time. Now's the time for most people in the country uh, to start thinking about getting their uh, their gardening going. Um, remember when we, uh, we we offer our plants too, that those are only gonna ship out uh, during the right season for you. And we'll explain that to you mm -hmm. later. But I love things like this because you don't find these in the everyday garden store. No. These are things that we cur uh, curate for you so that you'll have something different um, and it could be just to fill an empty corner. There's our potting bench, by the way. That's coming up in the show, too. It's a great way to be able to do all your plants in a one little sort of organized space. But you saw how nice it looks there. And then and look, I we've love done all these different...
different varieties. I love that it's bringing color to a level that you don't typically have. Usually it's either on the ground in yeah. your garden or maybe hanging above. This is really bringing color up to a different level in your yeah. in your yard, in your garden. And whether you have just a tiny little, uh, little lanai maybe, or sure. even a little balcony, even in a balcony, even in the city, you're able to have gorgeous color and surround yeah. yourself or, with beautiful flowers. Or if flowers. you wanted to make it a little tower of herbs, you could do that yes, as well. And tomatoes and anything with yeah. a vine, put the vines up above and then fill in Ooh, yeah. below with bib lettuce and sure. herbs. You can have a whole- Or basil, you know, oh. for your tomato and yes. basil salad. You could have it all growing on one dang tower. It'd make life real easy and for you. And they couldn't be yeah. more simple to put together. It's just like it a just little snaps. buckle system. Yeah, yep. it just snaps right into place like that. And I love that they do have the little handle so you can easily move it around and switch it. So you're making sure you get that even um, sunlight as well. Yep, so everything that you need, you get the sleeves, you get all the bases, and remember you're getting two of these. All the different collars that, that hook everything up is all included in this. Remember, it's perfect for a deck or a patio, and very little baby, uh, babysitting as well. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Thank you're you. coming back, yep. you're coming back. All right, we got a little bit of info on our friend Curtis Stone. We'll be right back with more gardening. Stick around. I've spent a lifetime in the kitchen all over the world. And I've seen what it takes to make cooking easier, faster, and more simple. You don't need a professional kitchen to be able to cook a delicious meal. With the right kitchen tools, you'll be able to cook, create, and celebrate. Don't miss the return of Curtis Stone's Kitchen Solutions, only on HSN. This is not just an ordinary scented candle. This is about experiences. 25 years ago, when we launched our first home fragrance brand, we quickly became the number one luxury home fragrance brand around the world. I worked with master perfumers to create top notes, middle notes, bottom notes. When you burn my candles in your home, you never smell one moment. I'm so excited to be coming to HSN. It's the network premiere of Homeworks by Harry Slatkin. If it doesn't follow and pass this sniffer, it's not coming to market. Welcome back, everybody. Gardening with Guy. I'm Guy. And it's time for our flower portion of the program, which I absolutely love. And I know you do, too. Why? Because these are from Leaf and Petal. And Leaf and Petal curates the best flowers in the country for us. These are not picked over. These are not the ones you get in the home store where you get them home and you pull them out of the pot. And you're like, oh, my gosh, this thing has not been watered or it's been in this, this little pot forever. And they wind up uh, dying on you. You're not going to deal with that. When, we, when you order flowers with us, we know where you live based on your address. And we will only ship them when it's time for them to go in the ground. You don't pay for them until they go in the mailbox. This is our leaf and petal two piece two in one honeymoon hibiscus set. And I will tell you, this has been so extremely popular. Why? Well, first of all, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a tropical vacation right in your home. Massive, massive pink and white blossoms. They're almost as big as my hand. You see how large these blossoms are? They are huge, well branched, yet it's still compact. It'll grow about three feet tall and it delivers flowers year after year year after year. We've got my friend Mark Govan here with us. He's a nursery owner, certified arborist, horticulture professional, radio show talk host. He does it all. Pleasure, Welcome guys. To the show. It's good Love to see you, my friend. You bet. These are just, I, 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 they're just breathtaking. I mean, they are absolutely beautiful. And you're going to get two of these two of when these, you order. Absolutely. In yeah. fact, there's two plants in each one that you get. So what you get is going to grow just as you see right here. Wow. Look at the size of this thing. Is this, this is how they come when you order them, right, Mark? That is correct. Yeah. We'll pull fact, some out. Let's, let's pull a couple of these out so you can see exactly what you get. Yep. When we uh, ship these out, there's going to be two in each. Now, sometimes you might see there's more in there. Just plant them as is. Okay. And when they grow up, uh, this is two years right in front of us. Okay. But the first year, you're still going to get your blossoms. Okay. First awesome. year, you're still going to get your blossoms. Yeah. Now, and these are perennials. Now, I bet there's a lot of people that probably live maybe in areas where they've never been able to grow a hibiscus before. Right. Well, these can be grown all the way up north. They're a perennial plant. They come back every year for you. You're going to have hibiscus that you can wear <laughs> in your hair all year round. <laughs> they are so beautiful and they're so well balanced. Look at now. These are, as we said, full grown. I love the colors of the flowers, too. Oh. Uh, these I mean, are rows and light rows here. And check out these light rows. Oh my gosh, they're as big as our hand, just like you said before. Yeah. But look at the color variation of the light rose uh, flowers 
unbelievable, true hibiscus colors. Now, and these, uh, again, will uh, attract the good insects and all the other things that oh, we love. Oh, butterflies, you're yeah. going to have everything that comes to the yard. All the good pollinators are going to come to these blossoms oh, as well. It. But just having a hibiscus plant in your yeah. yard where you've never been able to grow one before. Well, normally, yeah, because like I, let me, I, I've lived in Connecticut and I've lived in Arizona. Now I live in Florida and you didn't see a lot of them up in Connecticut, but oh, I would no. see them a lot in Arizona, tons of them Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And you see them in Florida, but these you'll be able to grow anywhere across the country now. What you're looking at right there is our map for spring of 2019. If you look at the color code, you'll see, look where you live, and then over to the right of your screen, you'll see when these will be delivered. And the reason we did that is because obviously different areas of the country are going are in different climate zones. So uh, as you go north in the country, those are going to come a little bit later. Right now, we're at the beginning of the end of March, beginning of April. So most of the stuff is already going to go in the mail. But if you happen to live, you know, up in the Dakotas or wherever, or way up north, maybe you're in Maine, your plants are going to come uh, sort of towards the end of April, early May. But you don't pay for them now. You're just securing your order. Your credit card won't be tacked until these go in the mail, which I love. Um, and we, I showed you there, the annuals will ship a couple of weeks later. $19.95, you get so much bang for the buck with oh these. Oh my gosh, two full plants and two in each container. Now, these are great as a container plant, as you see sitting here in front of us today, but you actually can plant these directly in the ground okay. as far north as you want. Uh, come wintertime, they're gonna lose their leaves. Yeah. They're gonna go back down. You're gonna put a little bit of uh, mulch over the top of it to okay. protect the root system. Simple. Come springtime next year, these plants are going to explode on you. Look at all the petals. You know my saying, petals, please. Give me more petals. That's what... <laughs> there they are. <laughs> well, you're not going to be starved for petals when it comes to these things. And I love the fact that the flowers are, are so big. Um, it's something that makes them very, very different. You know, when you see hibiscus naturally out there, uh, you know, I've, I've traveled to Hawaii where there's hibiscus pretty much everywhere. Um, and, and you see the size and the, and, and the impact that these plants have. That's why they use them in most of the real fancy hotels because they're so beautiful and they're so decorative. Um, you'll notice that the flowers, too, kind of offset each other. So you'll have the pink in inside one and then you have a little bit of the yellow uh, inside the white but such a beautiful beautiful uh, look to them and remember this doesn't take very long this is maybe at, uh, in your second season second season correct and uh, and that's all you need any special care I need to do with these special care they like a little bit of water and okay. they want to be out in full sun so if you uh, have a place that maybe is a uh, maybe it's a little wet Right. You can still plant these right in that area. Okay. The further north you go, you want to, of course, put them out in full sun. But coming back down south into uh, uh, Florida, hey, they'll take a little shade too. Right. No problem. Yeah, and if you try to go to a gardening store anywhere and try to get something this size full grown, you're going to spend 50 or $60 at least on one plant. We're doing two of these for $19.95. They're on price break. By the way, they're shipping for free today, and it's five flex. These are only $3.99. Remember, you won't pay for them, uh, depending on where you live, until they actually get shipped to you. When you uh, get them delivered, and you'll see here's our, con we show our map a lot, just so you know when they're coming, because I know a lot of you are like, I don't want to pay for it if it's not coming right away. You're not going to pay for it. You pay for it when it goes in the mail. So if you live up in Maine or if you live in Vermont, right, where you're, uh, it's still cool up there, they're going to wait until the end of this coming month uh, towards May. And that's the right thing to do because you want to be, you don't want to sit on them. You want to be able to put them right <laughs> into the ground. Uh, and that's really the key. And that's what I love about Leaf and Petal, too. We know where these have been. We take know? very uh, strong pride in making sure that we're selecting the, the best plants that are going to do well in your garden. Yeah. And in fact, with these particular plants, they're not going to outgrow your garden either so you're not going to be out there all the time trimming them these only grow two and a half feet high three feet high right. two and a half feet across yeah. perfect for either a container or in the garden yeah and i'll tie a couple of these on either side of the uh, patio i was just oh, thinking oh. that yeah you know we maybe we we'll pop them on our patio over there they yes. look so beautiful and this gives you an idea of the stages at which it will grow you see they start to get bigger and bigger and bigger but to mark's point they're never going to get more, uh, much bigger than three feet so you don't have to worry about controlling them all you need to do is just either put them in there, keep them in their pot. Obviously, as they get bigger, you can transfer them to a bigger pot, or you can plant them, as Mark said. Sure. Pop them right in the ground. They're going to love that as well. 643-483 is your item number. 
Get with the program, get some flowers. Come on, they're beautiful. Nothing like having flowers in your yard. I, I always notice people's property when I see flowers out front. I'm like, you know, that's you such know, a- That's what, just, if you're going to your home and you're walking yeah. up that patio lane and you see those beautiful flowers out there, there's nothing, nothing better no. for you. And let me tell you, coming up next is our Aurora, Aurora Borealis Impatience. And I will tell you, if you are looking for any kind of ground cover, if you're looking for a little pop of color, Impatience are the way to go. We know that impatience, uh, there are wonderful about them is they flower early in the season, so it comes right away. Um, they're ideal for ground cover. You could put them in a window box if you'd like. Look at that vibrant, like screaming reddish pink color um, that these have. And by the way, these are all cultivated right here in the USA. And then we ship them out to you and you'll get them as soon as it's time for them to be planted in your neighborhood. I love the colors, Mark, sort of a warm, uh, warm orange with like hot pink in there. And then they, that, the, the, the foliage is gorgeous. Too. Oh my gosh, so the foliage, that's the sun patient uh, standard, but the flowers, these, you're not gonna see these flowers anywhere else. No. These flowers are, they're called Helios orange. And let me just just pull one of these off and so you can take a quick look at it. Look at the sides of these flowers, but look wow. at the outer edges. That light, oh I don't know if gosh. you can see it, but oh, that beautiful uh, dark pinkish red on yeah. the outside of the flower. Oh my gosh, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, you know, a, uh, a realtor's trick <laughs> that a lot of them use when they're trying to sell a house is they'll go and they'll buy impatience in, in containers. That's right. And they put them all in the front of the house so that you'll look and go, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful house. It makes such a difference. Think about how your front area of your house will look when people drive by and they see these beautiful impatience. Now, we're gonna give you, you get four of these, right? That's right, Mark? four, not okay. one, not two, four individual plants. And here's how individual plants are going to come to okay. you. And you get four of these. And you know, what's great about an annual plant is that annuals, of course, they're gonna grow, they're going to flower, and then they're going to die in one season. So they're gonna grow quick. Right. So when you get these put out into the garden, as soon as we ship them, remember they're two weeks later than what we see on the map yeah. for shipping, two weeks later, because this is an annual, but my gosh, they're going to jump. You wanna see what this plant's gonna look like in four weeks? Look at the difference. That's oh my god. We'll show these side this by is, side. This is what you get when we mail it out to you originally. Four of these. And then you put one in a, in a container, just one per container, just like we have in front of us. Four weeks later here, eight weeks. Eight weeks to this. Eight weeks. Look at that. Now Those these, are these plants can grow 36 inches high and 36 inches wide. That's 12 feet of blooms. Yeah, that's 12 a feet of bloom. That's impact. Could you imagine putting yeah. on either side of a walkway, maybe coming up to your oh. home where all your foliage is brown coming out of sure. wintertime? Oh. Yeah, put them around your mailbox if you want to decorate around there, front of the house, side yard, wherever it is that you would like a pop of color. These are perfect. And you all know when patients grow like crazy, they just, they really do grow fast. I love that you brought that up, Mark, that, that you know, they, they get one season, so they're that's ready. It. And they're I, going, I, you know, they're and popping. I have, I, it's good to have a mix of both perennials and oh, annuals sure. Sure. around your yard. You know, some that take longer time to grow like the hibiscus and thing that get better year after year and then you have these which are just like they just come out and they just explode for you i mean they really are beautiful if you buy them today we're doing free shipping and handling on our leaf and petal and it's only $3.99 to get it delivered to your house, okay? With no shipping and handling, you just pay tax. And uh, so your first payment will probably be like four, like five bucks. And then your other ones will be $3.99 because you're paying the tax on, on the whole thing. But you don't pay that until they go in the mail. And remember, if you live up north, um, then remember, these are gonna come a couple of weeks even later than our date, just because they are um, annuals. And, and uh, you, you know, you get them in, they go really, really fast. Look so at how big these that is, are. It's bigger than you. Look at how big these are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh -huh. You got a plant this size that's going in your yard. Oh, 36 and, well, inches wide right. and 36 inches high. And what a statement it's going to And the make. thing, Mark, you know, you, you own a nursery. You know all yes. about this stuff. You're not going to find, you're, you'd be, be hard-pressed to find these in a, in a nursery at this level. Not, because they, don't, they don't either. sell them like oh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> not at all. They sell the They're little ones. They're all picked ones. over. Yeah. They, they, half the plant might be dead. Yeah. Uh, these, when they come to you, that Leaf and Petal Designs is going to protect the plants, number one. The packaging that they use, very, very great for shipping out plants. And the plants that come to you, they're going to be fully rooted, Ready to go in the Look ground. At Look at that root system. And not crowded and not, jammed oh, in. Oh, not all know? circular roots. Right. And even in the bottom. That's what you look for when you're looking at a new plant. Look at that. 
just hitting the bottom, that's exactly what you want. Right, and it shouldn't, they shouldn't be compacted in there. You know, all that means in my world, and, and it basically is, is that they've been sitting in that little container uh, for a long time. Yeah, and then you're gonna have problems because they're not gonna grow like you want. They're gonna right. wilt, they're gonna die. Not these here, these are gonna grow and grow, and you're gonna have such a beautiful uh, uh, color for your front porch, maybe the garden, maybe even a container, a couple containers oh, even. Yeah. And look at how full. And one of the things I love about Impatience too, especially these, is when you look at the foliage, you know, the, the green that, that is behind it, it's one of the reasons that it pops so well is you have this deep, rich, dark green color, and then you have this almost like fire, uh, fire orange red color that pops up between it. So they really make a big, big difference when you pop them in a garden. And I also like that they're they're unique in the way they shape. They kind of round out. They're so, I mean, yeah, they're they really- they kind of grow up. We have some that are stalks and some that are, like, you know, hibiscus will grow more a little more vertically. Sure. These just kind of get big and wide and just, and they really, they provide you know, a lot of a lot of pop for the You for know, the some people put these in those rail uh, uh, planter boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I they just cascade right down oh, over the yeah. side on both sides. Look at this, four weeks after you get the one we mail to, each plant, each plant this wow. big in four weeks, what we have in front of us, eight weeks. Oh my gosh. These are great. And and as I said before, they can go pretty much anywhere, okay? You can put them in any part of your yard. Um, if you've got a, you know, a sun porch or whatever you want to put them there, you can do that as well. The, uh, these love the sun as well. Oh, these are sun patients. Sun so patients. These are gonna take sun. Yeah. The further north you go, full blazing sun as much as you can give it. The further south yeah. you come, yes, you can put these in, the, in part shade too. Yeah. And they're gonna be just so, fine. So again, a real forgiving plant that's gonna allow you to really, really maximize the areas of your yard. Also great if, if you as I said you know our, our plants are also great if you live in a small space in an apartment because you, none of these are unruly you'll be able to handle all of them $19.95 for this and only $3.99 on FlexPay hey coming up in just a bit is our potting bench I'm so glad this is back hardwood bench uh, in your choice of colors today um, it's only $99.95 and this thing is gorgeous it actually folds up when you're not using it but it has uh, shelves built, built in so you can do your potting and your planting and you can do it easy. It comes in that natural color, it comes in cranberry, and it comes in taupe as well. Love this. And we actually have, I think that's the taupe that's up against the wall that looks so nice, but you can put your fertilizer, you, all your potting soil, your tools, all that stuff, or you can use it like a buffet table and put it out on your, on your deck or patio when you got people coming over. Anyway, that's coming up a little bit later in just a bit. All right, so if you love the creatures out there, and I'm talking about hummingbirds, I'm oh, talking about boy. honeybees, I'm talking about butterflies. Well, you gotta put plants out there that they really love. That's right. And that's what these are from Leaf and Petal. This is our, um, our three-piece butterfly plant set. Uh, now what you got here is really super, super duper sturdy stems and you see how they kind of shoot like spears out of the top. They are great for containers, they're great for beds, uh, borders, they're perfect. They're, they're, these are super pretty hardy, oh right? Oh my gosh, these are very, very hardy plants. These will grow all up, as far up north as you want. They'll take the cold weather. And what's really fantastic about these plants, because these are designed, right? the, the leaf and petal design again, they find plants that the blooms are not inside the foliage. Most of the, this is agasachi, and, and, uh, or we, we, we call these hummingbird mint. Okay. okay. And hummingbird mint, uh, a lot of these growers uh, or different cultivars, are, they, they're tall but, and they're, the, the flowers are hidden inside the foliage. Inside the foliage. Not these. Look at how these particular varieties are growing a certain height and then the flower spikes stick up. And these are fragrant flower spikes too. Oh my gosh. And if, you're, if you uh, have these planted out in full sun, which you're supposed to have, put them in full sun, the leaves, uh, they exude a minty uh, type of a uh, smell. If you rub them between your fingers, it's a minty smell. It's oh, beautiful. So nice. I mean, it smells floral. And, and the, it's, the and it's sun the green. heats them up and you can smell it every time you oh walk outside gosh. your front door. So whether you're planting these in the ground or if you're using them in a container, you know, we always say we want a thriller, a spiller, and a filler yeah. for a container plant. Yeah, yeah. This covers two of them right off the bat. So beautiful. <laughs> so, this actually has like, it's kind of like mint and rosemary together, right? Yes, kind of like absolutely. that. It's absolutely. It's really beautiful. And by the way, uh, in this, you're going to get three separate plants. So I imagine, are we gonna get one of each color? You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna get the, the blue, the violet, and the gold. Wow. All three plants. You're gonna get three plants that are gonna ship to you. Now, when they ship to you, here's how they're gonna ship. They're gonna ship in, in these little uh, uh, small containers here, three and a half inch containers. You can get three of these, one of each color. 
and you only need to put one in each container like we have here. Now, if you double or triple up your order, you can get these and group them together. I really love when people group right. their plants together because yeah. it really makes a difference, uh, the show that you put on for yep. each one. And I, and I like how these are different, like you said. Like, you know, some, like we just had the impatience, which is sort of a rounded sort of a ball of beautiful flowers. These shoot up, so you're, you're adding some texture to your garden. That is, is correct. Just like anything else, just like in your home, right? Not everything is all the same, right? You have different sort of dimension to different things in your home, whether it's your sofas and your tables and your decorative art and all that stuff. It's the same when you're doing your garden. You want to make sure you add different textures and different styles. And I will tell you, if you love butterflies, these are a magnet for but butter, butterflies go crazy over Humming these. Hummingbirds, butterflies, butterflies uh, eating good, moths. Honeybees, yes, love honeybees are yeah. going to come up here. And uh, deer resistant. If you're in an area where you have a lot of deer, these are resistant to deer because of the oils within the leaves. They don't like that. They don't like that yeah. oil. They, they, so if you have plants you want to protect, or maybe you want to bring, maybe you have some vegetables that you're growing and you want to bring in those pollinators. These plants will do Plant that these for around you as well. Yeah, see, Absolutely. so they're doing double duty. There's a close-up of, the, of that beautiful deep deep sort of a bluish violet color and you see how pretty that is all three of these are only $24.95 they're on flex pay for $4.99 flex pay is just a way to be able to to break up the payments so that that you can also go on your own little flower trip like we're going up there it is see that my little bubbles there yes. uh you can also do that as well we're going to give you uh one of each color um how long before they get to about this phase this is uh two this is going to be about the end of the first season actually okay okay because these are going to actually grow and continue to get bigger and you okay. can even divide these things up and, and one thing i so just these are year after year these year are year after year this is a these are perennials. They're going to okay. continue to grow for you. And one of the things I didn't mention is that even the flowers have a fragrance, like a citrusy fragrance. Yeah. And you can cut those flower stalks off, put them inside the home, Pretty. or use them for potpourri as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that's what we love about the, the flowers that shoot in spears, right? They look really, really good uh, when they're in a vase or when they're sure. in a little, you know, even if you have them indoors in a sunny sun porch or something like that, you love that you've got a little of that extra added texture on these. Free shipping. Let's put the map up one more time and show everybody. So when you order, just to remind you, we're not going to ship these until it's the proper growing season for where you live. So you see our car USA map there, right? And you'll see that if you live in the northern parts of the country, Maine or up in the, you know, the Dakotas up there, wherever, wherever Montana, um, you'll see that your growing season's a little bit later. And with, uh, now that's, this is, these are perennially, so these will come on time. That's right. Um, if they're annuals, they'll come a little later, but we want to make sure that you get them when they're ready to go in the ground. You don't want to hold them, right? So that's what we do. And you don't pay for them until they go into your mailbox or into the sh and start to ship out to you. So you're not paying, you're just securing it. And as we said with Mark and, and Leaf and Petal, these are not the things that you're going to find in the big bulk no, stores. you might find one color, but we've gone above and beyond. We've got you three separate colors, and that makes a huge difference. When you're looking for color or variety in the landscape, Look how pretty. Uh, oh my gosh, this is the kind All of plant right, you really need to have. Spring is here, and there's nothing yes. like beautiful flowers, especially when you're growing them yourself. There's such a great rewarding feeling about it that really, uh, it's, the, it's the natural distressor. Thank you, Mark, so much Thank for being guys, here, buddy. All right, it. stick you around. Bet. We got more coming up.
makes me laugh. All right, everybody, welcome back. Look who joined me. Carrie hey. Mobley's here with us. Now, Miss uh, Carrie Mobley here is an incredible gardener as well. Uh, maybe you've seen some of her stuff on Facebook. She just has the most beautiful gardens and she has a great touch. But I will tell you, one of the secrets that she knows that so many of you have known about uh, since we uh, introduced this many years back is Spray and Grow. Spray and Grow is what we call micronutrient micro magic. It's, it's, it's magic in a bottle. And to me, and to so many of you out there, including industrial farmers, this stuff is the key to a successful garden. Why? Well, it's the way that it works. It doesn't go down into the roots like fertilizer. It actually is sprayed on the plant, almost like when you put lotion on your body. It's absorbed through the leaves and the fruit and everything else. It's non-toxic uh, formula. Uh, it's actually like vitamins for your plant, and you can spray this on anything. You can spray it on herbs, on tomatoes, on flowers, whatever it is. And when you see the difference in the before and after, you are absolutely gonna flip out. Now take a look at these and we're gonna show you some live ones with Carrie in just a bit. And we're showing you what it was like without Spray and Grow and then what it's like with. Amazing. Right. right. So this was created by Bill Muskoff. Um, he was both a chemist and a gardener and what he realized was your plants need these 17 micronutrients. They're not in any fertilizer. You can't get them any place else except in spray and grow. And it is scientifically proven to give you more, bigger, and better. So it's a concentrate and we have four sizes. We kind of call this the try me size. Yeah. And basically you can get all the way up to the gallon, which I recommend because there's no shelf life. Right. So this is like Here vitamins for your plants. Yeah, let's show yeah, everybody. So sure, here's yep. 16, here's 32, this is 64. And this is the 128. Now, I don't think anybody in the marketplace has the half gallon, no, right? We're it's the only exclusive. we're yes. the only ones that carry this. This is a great size if you want to go the half gallon. Um, if you need to do a decent amount of your property, if you're also using it on your shrubs and on your on your lawn, a lot of people do it for there. It works on anything, and a little bit goes a long way. Oh. Should we show everybody some quick? Of course, Let's of show everybody course, some yes. live. And these are these are customers that sent these pictures in. This isn't us. This is customers. Where do you see this? Right, and so scientifically proven to give you more, bigger, better. And you can use it on anything that's green and grows. Check out these hydrangeas. Look how many blooms are on this hydrangea. So this is the more, more, 17 tomatoes on this vine. If you wanna grow tomatoes this summer and get 17, you need spray and grow. How about bigger? Same seed pack. What is that? Two neighbors. These are zucchinis. Oh they gosh. did everything exactly the a same. Whole, except one zucchini could feed a whole family of six. <laughs> exactly, right? Look at Check that. Check that out. That's the bigger. And wow. look at the oh. better. And you were just that talking about That is my favorite. These. That's one of my favorite pictures. This because is gorgeous. If, you, if there was a for sale sign, and you, you would stop and look at that house. And these are look not expensive that. plants. No. But what they have is the spray and grow difference, right? And so basically what you're going to do is you're going to take two teaspoons of spray and grow and you're going to mix it with warm water now we do have some power sprayers but you can mix it in any household sprayer sure. that you have as long as you rinse it out really really well right because a lot of times what you would have in here would be damaging to your plants and then it's really easy to use you just spray it right on the plants and the reason we're doing that is exactly like you said guy there are little pores all over the flowers the leaves even the sticks if you don't have any flowers or blooms yet you can just spray it right on the sticks and it absorbs through something called the stomata and that's those little pores and the reason that's going to be great is because it's up to 10 times more effective than feeding through the root because you don't have to fight gravity and so again anything that's green and grows and you're going to get right. more bigger and better I, I have to remind you and i hate to butt in on you here but do yourself a favor and buy one of the sprayers i have the gallon sprayer and then i also have the the quart sprayer these are battery powered, and rather than having to pump, pump, pump like Karen, you know, Carrie's in fit and great shape and all that, but your little fingers get tired when you have to spray. So what I do is I buy this, and all you do, hear it? Makes life so much easier. <laughs> it does. Well, and, and I think the coverage is better too on this. And, and by the way, you do this about once every, I just did my tomatoes and all my stuff yesterday. Yeah. You do it about once every two weeks. So I have this sprayer, and then I also have this one as well, if you want the smaller one, you can utilize this one as well. They, <laughs> this, they keep putting this bug, they keep putting this bug all over. They're trying to scare me. 
<laughs> Which they're doing a good job because I hate cockroaches. Anyway, right. oh no, they're God's creatures. I love them. So, All right, so <laughs> let's show everybody. Right. My gardening guy, I got to love bugs. Yeah. Um, right. Let's show everybody. Now, these are customers that sent us in their pictures. Correct, exactly. Thousands look of them. Look at that. I know, and look at this is one harvest. And so, because it's scientifically proven, we can guarantee it down to the bottom of the bottle. If you use this entire bottle and you aren't getting results like we are showing you, I mean, look at send that. it back. You can send back an empty bottle. But yeah. the reason we can do that is because it's scientifically proven. How about on your roses? If you grow roses, look at how many blooms are on this. It actually intensifies the sugar content of oh, your fruits and look vegetables. Look at the chilies. 14 inches long on these chili that's a peppers. That's big chili. And it's anything that's green and gross. So I actually use it on my grass as well. These are really inexpensive flowers, but if you sure. planted anything last year and you didn't get the results you were looking for, it's not that you have a brown thumb, right? It's that you didn't have what Spray and Grow has, and that's those micronutrients. So a lot of our customers like to show us their befores and afters. These are just a simple container. So if you plant a few petunias, and you treat them with spray and grow. And I know you said once every two weeks, but by the way, I use mine about once a week because you can't overuse it. Um, and again, it's really easy to use. All you do is take two is. teaspoons. Yeah. You're gonna mix it in with warm water yeah. and you're gonna let it sit, Guy, for about 15 minutes because that activates those micronutrients. Right. And then you simply spray it right on. Right so on. you can spray hairspray, Trust me, you can yeah. use spray. And then and look what happens. It actually soaks it in through the leaves, which makes perfect sense, right? It's it's the point at which it's getting the sun. It's the point at which the the, the uh, fruit grows. If you're doing vegetable gardens or fruit or, or if you're growing fruit, it's ideal for that. But what I love is it's non-toxic. This formulation can go on anything. You can spray it right on basil, cilantro, whatever herbs you're growing, rosemary, thyme. I don't care what it is. I always rinse it off anyway because it's outside and bugs have been crawling right. on it. But you don't have to worry about it. It's not a toxic toxic formulation. It's basically vitamins. You saw that calcium, magnesium, zinc, you saw all that stuff. That's, you know, your plants are living, growing things too, and they need the same kind of vitamins that we need, only in a different formula and a different formulation. And all you do is spray it on it. You only do it every two weeks. I did my tomatoes. Uh, I just did the tomatoes uh, recently. And here's some of my, are these the updated pictures? They might be. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, we're going to put my pictures up on my stuff. So there's my little starter rose bush. It was half that size when I got it, and I've only had it for a couple weeks. The tomato plant has gotten giant. Actually, those are old pictures. My tomato plant, yeah, those are the old ones. I just, I, I gave her new ones. We gotta get up to, my tomato plant is three, to, there they are. See, oh, there's the same beautiful. tomato plant. Oh, yes. <gasps> Thanks, okay, is that your Dan. rose? Yeah, that's, it's starting wow. to already, it's starting to already bloom. Yep. And that's only been, I've had it for two and a half weeks. Yes. And it's got about eight little buds on it. And those are all from Leaf and Petal, by the way. So, but I use, it's so funny because I use spray and grow on them, and that's when all of a sudden the flowers came out on the tomatoes. I'm telling you, almost immediately. And the flowers came out, and, and, the, and the little shoots started coming out of the roses after I put the spray and grow, about a week after I saw them starting to grow. We are extremely busy. I'm very limited in the larger sizes, so if you want the gallon or the half gallon, those are gonna be the first to sell out. Um, and then I have the other two as well. This is uh, my favorite picture of, of vegetables, and this is green beans. Will you explain what we're looking at Right, there? so it was the same row, the same seed, the same soil, the same fertilizer. Green beans were treated with spray and grow are the ones on the right. So this, this is the difference. Look at and the little not, scrawny. Right, and I'm sure they're tasty because they're jolly green, Jolly green, you Isn't know, guy. Isn't that amazing? And they're going to be sweeter because it actually intensifies the sugar content and it's non-toxic, so it's safer on your pets, look safe around your family. Roses. How gorgeous. I mean, your roses are going to look like this soon, Guy. So I just, beautiful. I have to tell you, I mean, people what for years that? have been using look this it. foliar feeding, and that's why farmers have been using it for so long. So just like you eat your food, that's going to be the fertilizer, right? You taking your vitamins is what's going to make this difference for your plants. It's vitamins for your I plants. I love the colors. Look at the borders I love here. This. Yes. And you know what's nice too is it's, a, you know what that is? That you get the gallon sprayer. Yes. And that's just a walk in the garden. And you just walk through your garden and give everybody a little sample. Um, you don't have to saturate them. Just give them a mist. That's all I do, just a little mist. And you'll see, just like the, like when you when you go to your flowers in the morning and they have a little of that dewy stuff on. Correct. That's kind of how they want to look. That's all you need to do. And you only do that every two weeks. And then all of a sudden you're going to be like, 
oh my gosh, look at how these are growing. Remember, it's not, a lot of times it's, it's not you, it's things that are outside of your control. Obviously, if it rains 14 days in a row, everything struggles a little bit, right? Or if it's cloudy a lot, you're not getting a lot of sun, but, but these are things you can actively participate in helping the growth and helping your gardens really, really thrive, right? Because we don't, we don't want them to just survive, we want them to thrive. We want to eat tomatoes, we want to eat cucumbers or lettuces and things like that. We want stuff to grow. And, that, and so it, this one little extra step can really, buying your flowers in the right place, like from Leaf and Petal. 100%, yep. And so making sure you start off with really good plants and then just take, it's like, I mean, it's like your kids. It's the same damn thing, right? right you just gotta right. take care of them. Well, and that's, you know, exactly to your point, there are some things you can't control. Like this is not going to be found in any fertilizer. And a lot of times your plants can get what they need from the soil, but they yeah. can't get this anywhere else but here and on sprayandgrow.com. And I'm telling you, You've got a great deal here today. And check out the these color. pictures. You know, so it's annuals, it's perennials, it's tomatoes, wow. it's your grass. I started to notice, because I have a ton of fruit trees, yeah. the grass underneath my fruit trees was lush, it was rich, and I thought to myself, well, of course, anything that's green grow. and yeah. grows. So anytime I have some left over, like at the end Look of my at, bottle, yeah. I just spray it all over. Look at those how blueberries. about the size and how many are on this blueberry plant? As big plant. as their finger. Look at that. Look I at know. that. And you know, a color saturation too. Remember, they're healthier. So everything is going to be better. The fruit is going to taste better. The plants are going to be brighter. They're going to be happier. Look at how that. Isn't that incredible? I mean, those were planted at the same time. Yeah, yeah. This is Black Eyed right? Susan Vines in June. And the second photo, mid August. That's crazy. And this is from Betty in uh, in Michigan. Hi, Michigan. I miss you. That's where I'm from. So Spray and Girl is so good, and we have uh, thousands of customers that stand by it. Enough to send we in do. pictures. It's the easiest thing you could do to, to, to help guarantee you're going to get great results in your garden. And I, I, I strive, I've been using it for years since it was introduced here uh, by uh, to us by Bill. Yep. And then uh, his uh, uh, lovely daughter, uh, Melanie. So, uh, and now Carrie, of course. We, you know, all gardeners, we all love yep. it. And it's one of the little tricks that the farmer know that now you know so you can take <laughs> advantage of it. Carrie's gonna be back in just a bit. Uh, she's got the hydra hose and I will tell you not only is this an industrial strength super cool hose it's beautiful as well. It's got some style. Look at that with the little ladybugs on it. I mean wouldn't you like to have I mean you know show some personality in your hose. Let everybody know that you you care about the little things right and you look at brass fittings. I mean it's a beautiful is that camo? Dude, I gotta get a camo hose. That would be sweet money. I gotta get, no, what's that one? That's the flower? And then it also comes in what, lady, ladybug? Oh, that's adorable. All right, anyway, that's coming up a little bit later. So, I've been singing the praises of the potting bench. Uh, why? Well, because, you know, we, we all love to do, it's, this is my pick in this hour, by the way. It's my pick, here it comes. <laughs> and, why, ready, what, whoop. There you go. I like that last one. Doink. All right. Yeah. Now, I, I'm glad we're showing this shot because it gives you an idea of the size of this thing. This thing is beautiful. It's perfectly sized to be able to do all your gardening chores. There's a little lattice behind it so you can hang the little hooks, which we give you, uh, to be able to hook up your gardening gloves or tools or whatever. But it is perfect for gardeners. It's perfect for entertaining. Look, Sunday brunch, right? Put it in the side yard. Put it wherever you want because the whole thing folds up and you can take it wherever you go. Um, as far as size, it's 33 inches in width by 24 inches deep. And it stands about 34 inches in height. That's where the counter mm -hmm. uh, goes up to. So it's the perfect level, as you can see, even me, tall guy, I don't have to bend over. It's an indoor-outdoor bench, so you can use it anywhere you want. It has a built-in upper and a lower shelf. And as I said, the whole thing will fold in and get put away. You have three choices. The one that I'm in front of right here is taupe. Uh, the one that the lovely Rebecca is Hello. in front of is cranberry. And then we have, this is what we're calling natural. It's kind of like, a, it's the most limited. It's really a great color. And by the way, all of these, if you keep them outside, they'll get that natural weathered sort of patina. They, they look great. They um, but they are meant for indoors, outdoors, and Rebecca is back with us. And they're beautiful, they, real wood. They're, they're so well made. It's all hardwood uh, built uh, inside, except for the hinges, which are metal mm -hmm. for folding exactly. it. Exactly. Um, but you'll see how the, the beautiful craftsmanship by which they use it, and lots of details oh, to be able I to put all your it. stuff. Exactly, and really it's going to take on whatever you use this for, it's going to take on that personality. So if you are using it as a potting bench, it really kind of has that kind of cottage kind of um, yes. decor if you do, I personally love the taupe. The taupe if you maybe is the one have I like, like a too. beach yeah. 
theme. Yeah, it's kind of so, washed out. Yeah. Exactly. But what I, if you look closely, you can see the knots in the wood. You can see it was beautifully stained and it is indoor outdoor. So easy to be able to use it wherever you want because it folds up. So when it comes to you, you put it together about 30 minutes. Then all you need to do is make sure that these hinges are not locked in place. Let me get, grab this one too, ahead, just honey. to make sure. Thank you. And then all you have to do is put it together. Go. It's that easy. 25 pounds that. down to five like inches. a big folding chair. It is. It really is yeah. like a folding chair, but it's a folding workbench wherever you need it for whatever you need this it for. This is exclusive to us here at HSN. You'll only find this here. We have all the colors still available right now, um, but it is a very, very limited. I think I only, I, I maybe have, we had 900. We're down to 700 remaining on this if you want to get it. Um, there's only 150 left in the natural, which is to my left over here, if you want to get it. Um, as I said, you can use this for a variety of mm -hmm. things. It's, it was designed for gardeners, and we have one tricked out there, so you can see we've got all our plant, plants and things up top, and we have the little hooks that you pop on. I and you have like a, you It's almost like a towel bar right yeah. here that locks into place. That you could have up. Yeah. Or yeah, down, or so down. if you really want to showcase this lattice work, which is stunning, you could hang all of your tools from the lattice work if you wanted to, too. These S-hooks will go wherever you want them to go. Otherwise, you could put that uh, rod down. You could hang decorative items here. You could, de um, you know, any kind of towels, yeah. any kind of coffee cups, I, anything. You I, need it I'm for. telling you, this thing does a lot of double duty because you could utilize this if you're having a brunch and part of your brunch, whether it's indoors or outdoors, could be on your patio, could be out on your deck, whatever, to be able to put, I mean, you could put at least Perfect. a half dozen entrees on top here and maybe put some of your cups and ice or whatever or cooler underneath so you could utilize it for that. Whatever you need it for. When it's time to do your gardening, you can see that lovely lady there is just utilizing it. It's at a nice level, you're not bent over. One of the things I always hate when I used to get potted plants is you, you, the initial thing, you put them on the ground, you get down on your hands and knees, and you start working, and it's kind of tough. And, and then you have to get back yeah, up. If you're a little older and you have issues with your knees <laughs> or your back or your hips or your knee, whatever it is, this is gonna make life so much easier. This and we're giving perfect. you an idea of the amount of stuff that you can put. We have stuff on both shelves here. I know, both shelves, both, and you need to know that each of those shelves are going to hold 100 pounds. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. But what I love is, look at it, it's perfect waist high level to do all all of your work. So do all of your prep work here. Spend less time on the ground. Less time hurting your back. Less time hurting your knees. You can do everything you need. Get everything you need. Look at the space. Like we said, it's 34 by 20, uh, 30, is it 34 by 24? It's 33 by 24. I was so close. 33 by it's 24. It's about two feet deep. Yes. Right? And at the highest level, we have, it's at 56. So if you were to put that rod right up here, it's going to be about 56 uh, inches high. But perfect waist level, 36 inches for all of that great work. Go, I mean, grilling stations, this could be great as a grilling station. You could put all of your tools here, because remember, these S-hooks come with it, and you can use them for whatever you want. Great for a coffee bar, great for a um, entertainment center. Another great thing is use it as your potting bench all season long, spray it down. Remember, it's indoor-outdoor use. Bring it in and use it for, I love it for even Easter, even on those hey ones guy, where you can put all- You've got mail. What? The mailbox went off. He has so much fun with it. I have more mail, do you mind? Watch out for the bug. They, my hand, <laughs> they, they keep putting that bug up. All right, hey, we want to say hi to Deborah, Deanne, Mary Beth, David, Lisa, and Brandy. Hi. And Brittany, uh, Brittany's out there, and Brittany asked, um, on the flower tower, how do you know exactly when it's time to refill it with water? Great question. And you're the flower tower yes, girl. Yes, the flower tower, all you have to do is follow the flowers that you plant in it, any kind of plant, just make sure you follow their schedule. So it's gonna water it perfectly, it's gonna mm -hmm. hold it in and disperse it, just water it on the same schedule as it says, you know, the little tabs yeah. that come with it, yeah. just follow that schedule. Easy, easy to figure out. But I'm glad okay. all you guys are, are interacting with us because it makes the show lots yeah, of fun. Yeah, I love that. So, but, so honestly, you know, um, do you necessarily need something like this? No, maybe not. But let me tell you, when you get it, you appreciate having something to help you in the garden. Yeah. One of the issues that people have with gardening is it's hard to do, right? It's hard to pot plants. I can't, I don't want to get on the ground. You know, I'm, I'm in my 70s. I can't do, utilize this. I mean, this is there to make life easy. And then when it's not being used as your potting station, Use it on your deck. I would never put this away. I'd never fold it up. I'd leave it out all you the time. You seem like a griller. Wouldn't this be perfect for that? I'm totally, I'm totally a griller. I totally could I'm tell you were a griller. A chiller is what I am. 
we should have a griller and a chiller thing that pops up over my shoulder. We'll it, work next on that. week we will. No, but I mean, like when when I have, when I have people over, I mean, I can put food out like that. You put salads and all those things outside yes. on a beautiful day, or even if it's in the you know the off season and it's Thanksgiving or whatever, and you're like, man, I really wish I had another little area where we I could put some food that. or I could put dishes or things or like that. Or allow you to have everything that you need for your guests at your parties to serve themselves. So many times they don't want to bother you. So now you can put all the drinks out there. You can put the um, appetizers and everything that they need is right here. And then use it for a potting bench when you want to. All right, so remember your color choices as we only have about a minute left. So this is cranberry. Is it beautiful? It's like Merlot, wouldn't you yeah, say? It's yeah, yeah, like it's a not wine really color. a cranberry color. Yeah. I would have called this, yeah, like a wine color. Merlot, yep. In the middle is taupe. Which is, um, I, I would just say that's more of like a washed gray. Right, washed gray. I yeah. love that one. That's, that's my, this favorite. One. It's my favorite. And then uh, over here is the one that we're calling natural, which is the, the uh, there's only a hundred left if you want to get this. Um, they gave us, uh, they put it on sale for us today. It's event price, only $99.95. Um, it's $19.99 in your credit card for doing five flex on everything today. Not just in my show, I think it's a whole day. Everybody gets five flex today, so you don't have to cough up all the money, just your shipping and handling and tax on your first payment of $19.99, and then you just make the other four payments and you're good to go. I love things like this because this is what sets you apart. This yes. is the little things that make a big difference. I've got a lot more stuff coming up in hour number two. Remember, it's the two hour gardening with Guy extravaganza. Are you gonna be here for the second I'm hour? I'm done, I'm done. What, you're done? Got, yeah, going to. You're yeah. not doing a show. Who's doing a show? I'm going to watch. I'm going to go get some popcorn and watch. All right. Well, I'll miss See you. your new, what are they, a little pop-up bubbles?